We all have a call from God. Priesthood, religious life, or sacramental marriage. And that is what is going to lead us to holiness. We're so caught up in what's my will, what do I want to do? I think what's important is that people start thinking about God's will in their life. The vocation landscape right now is hurting in our church. We have 3,500 parishes without a resident priest, and the number of sisters we have in the United States is down to what it was 100 years ago. And the idea of marriage, especially in a church, is in decline for our young people. Right now, we have 35% of the Catholic population identifying as Hispanic, but only 5% of priests identifying as Hispanic. It really needs to be an encounter at the parish level, the family and Christ. 80% of the seminarians in the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston, came from the 20% of parishes that promote vocations in our Archdiocese. We absolutely need to get to work Vocation ministry was formed out of a need to promote and pray for vocations. We need to take the youth and get them to the place where they can say yes to whatever God is calling. We need to have plenty of opportunities for the Holy Spirit to talk to them, to plant that seed. 50 different dioceses are using the book in all their parishes for a reason, because we're absolutely desperate for more priests. Hundredfold, a guide to parish vocation ministry and vocationministry.com are the A to Z about how to do this work. The hope of our vocation ministry is to have people cooperate with the Holy Spirit in what God's will is for them in their lives. There's probably never enough time to do everything that we need to do. If I'm going to borrow time from other aspects of my life, I'd like to borrow it for something as worthwhile and as rewarding as the vocation ministry. When someone comes to these young people, they say, you know, I think I want to be a priest or God is calling me to be a consecrated sister. They know how to respond to help them on their journey. If you are at a parish and you want to make a difference, if you see that the church is hurting for vocations and want to do something, I invite you to go to vocationministry.com and get involved. We cannot just leave it up to our bishops and our priests and our vocation director. We need to each take a responsibility in fostering more vocations in the Catholic Church.